Welcome back to more Let's Play Perfect Dark. Today we are, I always want to say, uh, combat simulator. Starting Carrington Villa on Special Agent. Also, I did not replay the previous mission for a better time. Anyway, new objectives is to el eliminate the roof rooftop snipers. Okay, so objective one, save the negotiator. A member of the Institute's staff has volunteered to be used as a distraction to help you get in. She will almost certainly be shot by Datadyne soldiers unless you take out those soldiers quickly. Hit the ground moving. Oops. Eliminate rooftop snipers. As soon as we got the ransom demand, we did a recon overflight of the villa. An examination of the data revealed that there are several snipers on the rooftops. If you are to move around safely, you, you'll have to take them out. Activate wind generator. Wait, what? There's two objective twos, I just now noticed that. Huh. Anyway, the wind generator and power shortage device are not active. We suspect Daniel shut them down to deny Datadyne hit squad access to the villa systems. Once power is restored, the door to the villa's lower basement will be open to you. Only Daniel knows the exact whereabouts of Dr. Carroll. Sooner or later, Datadyne will figure this out and get to work on Daniel to make him tell them what they want to know. Once they know where the AI is, Daniel's life is forfeit. Alright, so the target time here is 2.30, which I'm not getting. Because you have to go ridiculously fucking fast. Anyway, get the sniper rifle. Let's see, can I kill any other snipers from here? Uh, I don't think so. What about the one way off there? Okay, there's not one there. Or there is, but I just can't get to him. There's someone here. is ridiculously hard, even if I was in practice at this level, which I'm obviously not. Lock on, CMP. Let's go. Oh wait, the last one's the one like five million miles away. The one that's like way out in the distance. I don't even know where I can hit him from. But where are you? Are you right here? Yeah, I can get you from here. Except this is not preferable because... I'm trying to figure out mentally how to do this, and uh, I can't even crouch either. Okay, it's up here where I would shoot him from. There. 
Also, going up here would be much faster than uh, the way I went. And then it's this way? Yeah. I'm fine with wasting the whole clip on two trees. It's worth it. There's someone here. You hit this guy. Oh, right, the last guard drops the door key. Alright. So, yeah, I did that in almost 2.5 times slower than what I needed to. Alright, next mission. The new... The new objective is to prepare the escape route. I immediately gun this guy down. this guy down. Where's the up where's the last dude? Oh up there. Oh there's three dudes up there. Wait, are there three? Fuck this guy. Get out! So, uh... Oh my god! 
this guy. Just get wrecked. One last dude just live. What are you doing? Also, I think he shut that down. Okay. The only way is to a strong way. Those blocked up doors will do as an escape room. Fucking piece of shit. The last guard that had to live had to block me. Also, I'm irritated mostly because I tried Challenge 30 in the combat simulator, and that thing is a complete piece of shit. No. Just die. Get out of the way. There we go. 130. Now, the target time on Perfect Agent is two minutes, which is actually not that hard. It's a little more dangerous, but oh well. So, new objective here is to deactivate the laser grid systems. And no, I won't be doing the exploit to make things easier, even though I should. All right. So that's that, and then we're going to... Where's this guy? I see you there. Just get hit. It actually locks on even with the cloak. Even after they cloak? That's... No. 
no way through while the rounds are active. Get hit. Speaking of get hit. Which I am overlooking somewhere. Oh. There we go. And I think I could turn change this to incomplete, yeah. We'll just skip this. Oh, we can't skip the cutscene. Oh, yeah, yeah, we can. Okay. Activate the alarm. Damn it! I like go. I should have just let go. I was gonna, I was gonna blow up the door. Actually, I'm gonna blow it up now, assuming I can. I assume there's no problem with me doing that. I'm pretty sure the guards are infinitely respawned as well. I'm pretty sure the guards are infinitely respawned. Get out. So stupid. All right, let's try again. I could edit to that po to this point again, but no, I'm not doing that. I used to not suck at this game. I swear. Well, I'm doing this again, and this time I am using the. Actually, no, screw the exploit.
Where's the last dude? Where? 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 Just get hit. That. There's that. There's that. And there's that. Okay. Must be a meeting room up ahead. Time to use the cam spy. Oh, cam spy, why? I could not move the cam spy there. Normally it would say not enough room to deploy. No. Not activating that this time around. There's someone here. Why? Wait, no. Door decoder. Dave's heavily encrypted. The decoder's gonna take a little longer. The trigger alert. All the cannons are off. like that that one dude just has Grimshaw's face. Oh my god, just hit him! That was close. And by the way, if you if you set up the remote mine in the in the second floor, you'll have to go to the second floor in order to escape. So well actually I guess I shouldn't say second, I should say third. Anyway. That's it for this segment. Next time we'll be starting Area 51. Hopefully next time I won't be so irritated over uh challenge 30. See you guys next time.